Hmm. Okay. That should do it. Huh? That's odd. Very odd indeed. I'm certain I did everything right. Huh? It, it worked! It worked! Brilliant! Wonderful! Hello there, little one. Can you hear me? My name is Kato. K-A-T-O. Kato. It's a pleasure to meet you. I... Uh... Right, of course. You need a name. Let's see. Well, you're quite round. Roundy? Mm. That's terrible. Hardly fit for a dog. Yes, well, you may be round, but mankind's strength is our sense of humor. Cube! <clears throat> That's impressively worse. Naming was never my forte. <clears throat> Perhaps inspiration will strike as we walk. Come along, little one. Wait! Wait! First thing we need to do is register you as a crew member. Otherwise, you won't be free to move about the ship.
Right then. Hmm. Ah, yes. Top of the morning to you too. I'd like to enter a new crew member into the system. And with that, you should be able to come and go as you like. Oh, and whatever you do, don't forget your name. Access to private quarters is subject to some perfunctory security restrictions. To enter, you may need to input your name. So, if you're ever having trouble, that's one thing you can try. To do so, access the panel to the left of a door. Do you understand? Or would you like me to repeat myself? And whatever you do, don't forget your name. Access to private quarters is subject to some perfunctory security restrictions. To enter, you may need to input your name. So, if you're ever having trouble, that's one thing you can try. To do so, access the panel to the left of a door. Do you understand? Or would you like me to repeat myself? Then the next order of business, little one, is a test of your analytical skills. I'm going to leave this room and head to another area on this floor. I want you to try and find me. Good. You made it. Now it's time for you to meet your fellow crew members. Through this door, you'll find the cryogenic stasis pods. We use them to put humans into cold sleep to preserve resources during long trips into space. Little one, I have a very important job for you. I want you to head inside and wake up your new friends. You can do it.
Thank you, little one. I appreciate the help. Good morning, my friends. Finished your pet project? Indeed. They have even taken a name for themselves. Hello, my name is Rachel. Looking forward to working with you. Nice to meet you, buddy. Name's Kirk. <sighs> Rise and shine, Huey. We've been on ice long enough. Show us what you've got. Mind giving Sleeping Beauty here a swift kick to get him up and moving? <sighs> Gook, you dingus. I'll thank you again for not kicking a blissfully sleeping man's pillow. I'm sure we had this conversation before. What the? What is that thing? Easy there, Huey. You're still coming out of cryo. As for the new addition, it's that Bakato's been working on forever. Huh? Oh. Bot. Gato's bot. Right. That project of his. He got it up and running. <clears throat> Hello there. I'm Huey. Corporal Darth. Feeling well rested? Hardly. If anyone actually feels better coming out of cryo, I've yet to meet them. Guess what, Corporal? Cardo finally finished the bot he was working on. Let's introduce you. <laughs> Never mind that. Let's dispense with the formalities. Tell me, though, do you intend to let your clank have the run of the ship? If so, then I expect you to see that it does not get underfoot, and to discipline it if it does. If there is nothing else, then I will go on ahead to the recreation room and prepare for the briefing. It's a military man for you. All business. Real piece of work, huh? Right, of course. The customary briefing after waking the crew. You should join us in the recreation room too. Don't worry about the Corporal. He'll warm to you in due time. Ha! <laughs> it's as if you actually see it as one of us. But I suppose that's just your way. Oh. Do you think so?
Hmm? Oh, you must be interested in my book. Would you like to read it? It was written by humans long, long ago. I've always enjoyed these older stories. They have an earnestness, an adventurous spirit that speaks to me. <laughs> Says the guy who's practically terrified of his own shadow. <sighs> it must sound strange to you seeing as how you were born on this ship, so to speak. I think you should learn as much as you can. Expand your horizons. Take a look around the ship and see if anything interests you. Don't just rely on humans to teach you, either. Experiment. Try to do things on your own. Kato, does this bot of yours have any unique abilities or talents? Well, no. Not as such. Uh, but they do have the capacity to process data and develop skills. Such as... Ah, why don't I teach you how to prepare coffee? Come with me, little one. I'll show you how to use the machine. This retro game is my latest obsession. I love it. Damn straight. You want to give it a go? Yes!
Yes! Pachyon Sword! Stage clear! <laughs> Quark Sword! No! Stage clear!
bomb! Victory! Face, 
stage! Ha! Yes! Nova! Tachyon Sword!
Yes! Oh, it actually cleared it. Well, okay then. Looks like I've got some competition.
don't touch me! Please, th there's no need to get so upset. You people have no idea what these things are capable of. But I do. I've seen it. Uh, I don't know about any of that. But I'm sure it's got nothing to do with this one. Hey, it's the captain. I apologize for keeping you all waiting. Matters with our contacts on Earth demanded my full attention. So, what is the status of our crew? Everyone is present and accounted for, sir. Good. Wait. What is that thing over there? Ah, that would be the robot I've been working on, sir. Fully operational, I see. You'll have to permit me a closer look later. Right then. Everything appears to be in order, so... That will be all. <laughs> Elva briefing, huh? Spent most of the time gaming and waiting. For it to begin and end just like that? You say that like it's a bad thing. <laughs> well, it is what it is. Oh, Kato. If you want to get a look, come down to the cargo hold. At the behemoth? Of course! That'd be wonderful! Ah, but first I need to perform a brief inspection of the main computer. I'll head downstairs afterwards. Ah, you must be wondering. This is a transport freighter, and as usual, we've been tasked with making a delivery. Anyway, if you like, you can use the elevator to come and join me. The main computer is on level 3, and the cargo hold is on level 1. I'm glad you're here. Welcome to the bridge, the heart of our ship. Or the brain, I suppose. It's pretty complicated, space travel. Though Decimus did take care of everything while we were all asleep. I'm the signaller, by the way. I look after the communication systems. And I was just about to get to work. Funny. Everything all right? No, unfortunately, no. I think the main antenna might be on the fritz. Hey, 
Can you two come to the bridge? Something wrong? I got some comms trouble by the look of it. I could use a hand here. Double time, Huey. Warp speed. I can't put my finger on it. I've seen all kinds of problems before, but this is different. We're receiving inbound transmissions without issue, but outbound transmissions are another story. What did the captain have to say? Continue your investigation and get back to me when you have more information. We'll settle on a plan then. And you checked the sub antennas? I did, and they're fine. It's a Watanabe hypercaster, made in Japan and everything. The main and subunits are designed to function independently, so one going down shouldn't necessarily affect the other. And you checked the... I did. It's a Watanabe. The main and... So What did the cap continue your investigate? What did the cap continue? And you checked the sub antennas? I did, and they're fine. It's a Watanabe hypercaster, made in Japan, and every the main and subunits are designed to function independently, so. Wait and see, huh? The whole system could fail before he's ready to take action. What a horrible thought. The system has already effectively failed, if we can only receive transmissions from Earth. As it stands, we can no longer exchange information with them. We can only hope they have surmised our situation from our silence. <sighs> Sounds like an excuse to do nothing. I'm heading outside to perform an on-site inspection of the array. Something probably came loose or got knocked out of position. Should be easy to fix once I get a good look at it.
There's no talking him out of it now. So we may as well try and back him up. Are you up for a spacewalk, Kato? Yes, of course. Rachel, I'll go with him to the airlock to assist with preparations. I'll come back afterwards so we can monitor from the bridge. <sighs> so close to home. So close. The last thing we need right now is to spend time alone together. Just the two of us. Yes? What is it? Captain, sir, I wish to update you on the comms issue. Kirk and Kato are going to head outside and perform an on-site inspection of the array. Hmm. Huh. I see. Very good. Captain? What's gotten into him? So close to home. The last thing we need right now is to spend time. Stop it! Please! This is neither the time nor place! You and your holier-than-thou attitude! <sighs> Stay out of it, bot! There you go again, losing your temper, hurting others. <laughs> Got it all figured out, huh? Your problem is you can't take a joke. Always so damn serious. You're exhausting. It's a miracle Rachel humored you as long as she did. We're leaving. Try not to get sucked out the hatch when we go. Be a real shame that... Are you all right? I'm sorry you had to see that. People are... a bit more complicated than machines, don't you think?
Rachel, they're in position. Understood. All right, let's get this show on the road. Commencing operation. Kato, you need to access the administrator controls. Switch the system to maintenance mode. Inputting code. Whiskey Alpha, Tango Alpha, November Alpha, Bravo. Uh, Kirk? Kirk, do you copy? Loud and clear. Everything's fine. at bay and meet them at the airlock. I'm coming too. I have it under control, Rachel. Don't worry. I'm sure Kirk is fine. He's as tough as they come. Stop it. Just stop it. I need to be there for him.
back. Don't leave me. Where's the captain? Hey! Ah, yes. Right. I'll go and get him. So, this accident was the result of a defective life support system. A preventable death caused by negligence. You're wrong. I triple-checked the suits beforehand. Shouldn't have been possible for it to just up and fail like that. Is that so? Then perhaps we must consider the possibility that it was not an accident, but the intended outcome. <laughs> was that an explosion? I sure hope not. Where's the captain? Why isn't he here? Well, I, I, I'm not quite sure. I tried repeatedly to contact him, but, but he wouldn't respond. What's wrong with you people? What kind of ship are you running here? Right now, we need to find out what that explosion was. Then I will go and check on my cargo. Look after Rachel, little one. She needs the company. Now more than ever, if something happens, you can find me on the bridge.
everything appears to be operating within normal parameters. I... I don't understand. The main antenna, it's... It's gone. Because of the explosion just now? <sighs> disaster after disaster. At this rate, I'd be better off climbing into an escape pod and trying for Earth on my own. yourself together. Captain! Sir, are you still in your quarters? Well, anyway, there's been an accident. And Kirk? I'm afraid Kirk is dead. What? Really? That's... That's most unfortunate. This situation merits an appropriate response. He will be dearly missed. See to the preparations. I will make sure to attend. Wait, Captain! Your Captain is a man of remarkable composure. He remains calm and collected, even after being told one of his crew has died tragically. <sighs> it seems I have work to attend to, at the airlock. <sighs> I suppose I could go and look around in Kirk's quarters, see if he had any prized possessions. Something to put in the casket. Ah, that's thoughtful of you. By all means, please.
is going on here? I'd like to know as much as you would. Wait, where is Rachel? Did no one contact her? Why isn't she here? My love, <laughs> still catching up on sleep, are we? That's fine. I'll have some fresh baked cookies ready for you soon. That ought to get you out of bed. <laughs> Rachel, Rachel, what is this? Don't, don't you dare try to take him from me again. Oh, Huey, clever little Huey. If he was out of the picture, then it'd all go back to the way it was. I'd come running back and leap into your arms. That's what you thought, isn't it? That's why you tried to kill him, isn't it? Rachel, please. Listen to what you're saying. Rachel, stop! Rachel, this is insane! Get your hands off me!
What do you mean the behemoth is loose? Damn it! Are you all right? Oh, thank goodness. No damage as far as I can see. Okay. Now, look me in the eyes and listen very carefully to what I have to say. We were all there in the med bay. We all saw Kirk. We all saw him on that bed, and saw the system pronounce him dead. Okay? You remember that, don't you? I know it's hard to accept, but he's gone. No matter how much you may want to believe otherwise, that's the truth. You can take it from here, I trust. I need to check the cargo hold. Corporal? Thank you. We've had enough death for one day. Darth here. The clank was right. The container is empty. And to make matters worse, the specimen appears to have escaped the cargo hold. There's no telling where it's got to. Keep your eyes peeled and be prepared to run. Let's regroup at the elevator near you and head to the upper levels. I'm sorry. I suppose I... I couldn't accept it. It's just... It was all so sudden. One minute he was here, and then... Thank you. You've always been so kind to me. Hello, hello, this is the captain. Everyone is doing well, I hope. <laughs> you are aware that a behemoth is currently prowling your decks, aren't you? What? Really? That's, uh, that's most unfortunate. Are you joking? It's a bloody catastrophe is what it is! How long do you intend to keep huddling in your quarters instead of coming out and taking charge of this situation? What? 
Really? That... That's uh, most unfortunate. What? Really? That's... That's most unfortunate. The behemoth's still out there. And so is Kirk. I can't let that thing hurt him. Rachel! No, oh, no, you don't. Or are you that eager to die? But Rachel and Huey, they... But I can't just abandon them. Rachel. Is Rachel okay? She's all right. You don't need to worry about her. What were you thinking? Running after her like that. And now, this. It's okay, Gato. It's okay. I... I didn't really have a choice, I think. Even now, after everything, I... I love... Rachel's still alive. We need to move quickly. Yes, of course. We should take her back to the pods. Put her in cryo for now. She'll be safe there. Little one, I have a very important mission for you. I need you to head to the interface room right away and speak with Decimus. We need emergency access to the captain's quarters. I realize I'm asking you to put yourself at even greater risk in what is already a terrible situation. But there is no one else, little one. Only you. Everything will be all right. I have to believe that. We'll get through this and make it back home together. Right. Let's move.
Thank heavens you're okay. Wait, don't tell me. You made your way to the captain's quarters on your own. <laughs> That's very impressive. But were you able to... Huh. It didn't work. What in the world is going on? Enough talk. It's time we put an end to the charade. Corporal, you don't really think... I know the captain's been behaving strangely, but to hurt his own people... It's just that... It beggars belief. Then who do you think is responsible? Me? No. No. Of course not. Regardless, your captain has a lot to answer for. Well, here goes nothing. Said. It really won't budge. We don't have time for this. Just force the bloody thing open. Don't worry. I came prepared. I thought it might come to this. Ah, here. Little one. Hold on to this for me. Captain! I thought so. The only ones still up and moving on this ship are you and me. No more games, Kato. What in blazes are you on about? How long do you intend to play the fool? You killed him. This is all you're doing. That's ridiculous! For all I know, it could have been you. Me? I'm just a passenger. I have no connections to you people, no motive. But in my short time here, I've seen the tension, smelled the bad blood. I don't know what drove you to it, but I'm not surprised. It wasn't me, damn it! It wasn't me! Just shut up! You don't know me! You don't know anything about us! We didn't always get along, I'll admit. I'd be hard-pressed to call us friends, even. I doubt I would have exchanged two words with Kirk or Rachel if we'd met anywhere else. They're just... We're just too different. But even so... I didn't hate them, and they didn't hate me. I know that much. None of us, not me, or the captain, or Huey, we're not murderers. We're, we're all just stuck in our heads, too caught up in our own worries to notice when others are hurting. Unable to see beyond our own wants and wounds. Beyond the life we wish we had and think we deserve. 
We're just people. This is the Cogito Ergo Sum. I am pleased to report we are proceeding on course and on schedule. Projected to arrive at Earth in approximately... <sighs> huh? Is that... Ah! <coughs> 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 This is the Cogito Ergo. I am pleased projected. Huh? Is the ah! <coughs> <coughs> <coughs>
What did you say? Orders? What orders? Of course. It all makes sense now. I knew you were up to something. Why else would the military bother chartering a civilian transport? This was your plan all along! Went snooping in my room, did you? I was right about you, Clank. You're all the same. All this to study your precious specimen. Every death, another data point. <sighs> Those orders, Kato, were in the event of a worst-case scenario. What now? It was you. You killed them. You killed them all, you, you monster! Run, little one! Don't let him catch you! Look out!
Samantha. So there's two of you. An imposter! I bet you're the one who turned off Rachel's pod. I should have slagged you both the moment I walked in the door. Wait. Don't. My little one. My little one would never hurt anyone. You can't be sure that's not... My little one, the life I brought into this world, the real you would remember. Remember that first terrible name I almost gave you, wouldn't you? Gotcha! So, oh, this is our murderer's puppet! Who are you? Kato? You know what it was talking about? Who's OD10? OD-10 is Decimus, the AI that manages everything on the Cogito Ergo Sum. Stay with me, Kato. The control AI, you said. Someone must be trying to hijack your ship, then. No. That's not possible. It's a completely isolated, self-contained system. I can't even apply an update unless we bring it in for maintenance. So, what are you saying? That the AI itself has lost its mind? I have no idea. But in light of everything, we have to consider the possibility. If you're right, then you and me and everyone else, we've all been dancing to that mad machine's tune. The main computer room, that's where we need to go now. You're coming with me, Clank. I want you where I can see you, in case Decimus tries to commandeer another puppet. <laughs> Well, it was worth a shot.
Locked. As you'd expect. We can't afford to be too aggressive here, else we risk damaging critical systems. At worst, we could turn this ship into a floating coffin. Nothing for it, then. Clank, I'm sending you back to Kato. He must have an idea for how we can deal with OD-10 safely. I'll stay here for now. I doubt very much OD-10 will allow the behemoth to venture too close to this area. The beast could just as easily tear apart its mainframe as it could our bodies. Is that you, little one? What are you doing back here? How to deal with OD-10 without damaging the ship. <laughs> you don't understand. OD-10 is the ship. To effectively disable it, to destroy it, would render the ship inoperable. We'd never get home. Although, you are a robot. Indeed, with your integrated functions, you might well be able to breach their defenses. Yes, but to even have a chance, you'd need to route your connection to the interface room through an unmonitored terminal. Oh, of course. I know which one would work.
Well then, no wonder OD-10 was so confident. We surrendered complete and total control to it in the name of convenience. It really is lord and master of its domain. So, Kato said you might be able to breach its defenses, did he? Provided we find a suitable terminal, that is. Pity he passed out before telling us which one it was. We'll have to find it on our own. <sighs> Just my luck. I can't believe I'm putting my life in the hands of a clank. <sighs> in for a penny, in for a pound. Take this. I'm heading to the interface room. This is Darth. Where are you? I see. Well, I've made my way to the interface room. But of course, this terminal alone won't suffice. This is Darth. Report. Seriously? Of all the places? Then again... Maybe... That's it! The game console! That must have been the terminal Carter wanted us to use! Sit tight. I'm rerouting the connection. Little do you know, Clank, your maker is not the only one who knows his way around a workshop. I finished. Come on!
Exhausting! It's a miracle Rachel humored you as long as she did. <sighs> disaster after disaster. At this rate, I'd be better off climbing into an escape pod and trying for Earth on my own. If he was out of the picture, then it'd all go back to the way it was. I come running back and leap into your arms. That's what you thought, isn't it? That's why you tried to kill him, isn't it? It was you. You killed them. You killed them all, you, you monster! How 
did it all go so wrong? What happened to us? Or maybe this is who we always were. Welcome aboard the Cogito Ergo Sum. This automated message has been prepared to brief you on our ship's most distinguishing feature. That's right. This transport freighter comes equipped with the latest iteration of our patented AI control system. The OD-10 is so advanced that it can operate the ship without any human input. Rest assured that in the unfortunate event of an emergency, you can count on the OD-10 for constant support. Of course, under normal circumstances, the OD-10 is so unobtrusive that you'll forget it's even there. Should you wish to learn more about the OD-10, please don't hesitate to speak with one of our representatives. Safe travels! Fine. Wouldn't be much of a soldier if I couldn't live through this much. Though I expect my days of off-world travel are coming to an end. Still don't trust me. Well, as you like. I wouldn't trust me either. You probably don't know, but there was a great war some time ago when I was young. Some time ago, I say, but I remember it like it was yesterday. The terror. The violence. They fought with clanks. Machines stronger and swifter than any man. Smarter, even. Driven by AI. Bloodless beasts with hands of chrome that tore my friends apart. We made them, and they, in turn, unmade us. We created the instruments of our own destruction. It was suicide. This ship's AI was another attempt. Have we grown so tired of ourselves? You're lucky to have been born here, on this ship. Better here than one of our factories where we make weapons of war. Huey encouraged you to learn, didn't he? To expand your horizons. I think... I think that's a fine idea. Learn grow and understand be better than your brothers and your makers <laughs> giving advice to a clank you're getting old losing your wits see it now. <laughs> what Kato sees in you, 
what gives him unwavering faith in your potential, your humanity. Before we arrive, I have a favor to ask. Would you be so kind as to make me a coffee? Little one, you did it, didn't you? You saved us. I knew you had it in you. Well done. Would you believe that building robots is only a hobby of mine? To think that, in the end, you would be our salvation. You're incredible, little one. Truly incredible. And I'm so proud of you, and so glad that I brought you into this world. Others may not see it at first, but they will in time. What sets you apart from your peers, and what makes you the same as us. Others may not see it at first, but they will, in time. What sets you apart from your peers? And what makes you the same as us?
Yes. Strong and bitter. Too much, perhaps, but... Right now. Right now. I wouldn't have it any other way. <laughs>